a manufacturing company found that the rate its revenue is changing, measured in hundreds of dollars per unit, can be modeled by the function little r of x, where x is the number of units sold. What is the best interpretation of the integral of little r of x from 0 to 450 equals 4.75? To interpret the meaning of this def integral, we will first take a look at this in terms of area, and then interpret the meaning of the area, and then we'll also take a look at the fundamental theorem of calculus to help interpret the definite integral. Before we begin though, it's important to recognize that little r of x is the derivative of the revenue function because it gives the rate at which the revenue is changing. Now if we wanted to model this def integral using area, the first step would be to graph little r of x, which we will assume is this blue function here, and then because we are integrating from zero to 450, we would shade the area under the curve and above the horizontal axis from zero to 450, which is shaded in red here. And because r of x gives the rate at which the revenue is changing, measured in hundreds of dollars per unit, hundreds of dollars per unit would be the units for the vertical axis, and because x is the number of units sold, the units on the horizontal axis would be number of units. And now to help understand what this 4.75 means, let's analyze the units of this area on the next slide. We know to find this area geometrically, we have to multiply the units along the vertical axis by the units along the horizontal axis. If we do this, we would have hundreds of dollars per unit times the number of units, or just units. If we write units as a fraction with the denominator of one, we can see that these units simplify out or simplify to one, leaving us with the units of hundreds of dollars, which means the 4.75 represents 4.75 hundred dollars. We can think of this area as the accumulation of the change of revenue from zero units all the way out to 450 units, which means this area represents the total revenue generated from selling the first 450 units, which we now know is $4.7500. If we wanted this to be in dollars rather than hundreds of dollars, we'd have to multiply 4.75 by 100. 4.75 times 100 equals 475. This is equal to $475. Which means the meaning of this def integral is the company generates $475 of revenue from selling the first 450 units. Before we select our answer though, let's also interpret this using the fundamental theorem of calculus stated here. For our def integral, we have the integral of little r of x from zero to 450 is equal to big R of 450 minus big R of zero, which we know is equal to 4.75. And remember, big R is the antiderivative of little r, which means the derivative of big R is equal to little r of x. But remember, little r of x is actually the derivative of the revenue function because it gives the rate at which the revenue is changing, and therefore big R is the revenue function. So if we evaluate the revenue function at 450 and then subtract the value of the revenue function at zero, 4.75 does give us the total revenue from selling the first 450 units. And again, we know this is $4.7500, which we already know is equal to $475. So let's go ahead and select the best interpretation of the def integral. Well, several of these sentences have $4.75 rather than $475. So we can eliminate the first, second, third, and last sentence. Let's focus on these two sentences here. This reads the company's revenue is $475 for the first 450 units, which is equivalent to the sentence we stated earlier on this slide here, which means this is the best interpretation. However, let's also look at this sentence. This sentence reads the company's revenue is increasing by $475 per unit for the first 450 units. This is not correct because the 475 is the total revenue generated, not the rate of increase of revenue. 
and therefore this sentence is not correct. I hope you found this helpful.